What's up guys, this is Massey. Welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you which number is bigger. We need to use binomial expansion. One is 1.1 to the power of 10,000 and the other one is 1,000. Now we need to see which one is greater than the other one. So let's use binomial expansion to expand 1.1 to the power of 10,000. 1.1 is 1 plus 0.1 to the power of 10,000 which will be 10,000 C 0 1 to the power of 10,000 point 0.1 to the power of 0 plus 9,999 sorry 10,000 here is going to be 1 1 to the power of 9,999 point 0.1 to the power of 1 plus 10,000 C2 1 to the power of 9,998 point 0.1 to the power of 2 and so on so it's just add up so the first one is gonna be 1 the second one is gonna be this number is gonna be 10,000 times 1 to the power of 9,999 is 1. 0.1 to the power of 1 is going to be 0.1 plus some other numbers. So this one is going to be 1 plus 1,000 plus some other numbers. So it's already greater than 1,000. So 1.1 to the power of 10,000 is going to be greater than 1,000. So that's how we figure it out. Let's have another example like that. So in this example, I just want to show you which one is larger than the other. One number is 1.22 to the power of 4,000 and the other, the other one is 800. So what we need to do, we're gonna have one plus 0.2 to the power of 4,000. When you expand it, it's gonna be C, 4,000, 0, 1 to the power of 4,000, 0.2 to the power of 0, plus 4,000, C1, 1 to the power of 3,999, 0.2 to the power of 1. Plus 4,000. C2, 1 to the power of 3,998.2 to the power of 2, and so on. So as you see here, the first one, this number is going to be 1. 1 to the power of 4,000 is going to be, and here is so on. Is 1 to the power of 4,000 is 1. 0.2 to the power of 0 is going to be 1. So that's going to be 1 plus 4,000 C1 is 4,000. 1 to the power of 3,999 is 1. 0.2 to the power of 1 is 0.2 plus some other numbers. So it's going to be 1 plus 800 plus some other numbers. So it's going to be 801 plus some other numbers. So then we can say 1.2 to the power of 4,000 is greater than 800. So we solved two examples similar to each other. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel and recommend it to your friends and colleagues. I try to cover as many as possible of these questions in chemistry, physics and math. Thank you for watching and have a great day.